Bars is back. Sand and Oh God. What's up with you? Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Oh God, driving Sam and riding passenger side, and you heard it out the mouth of the girl. Yeah, let's talk about um my man. Let's talk about uh Ali? Did, did, yes Ali. My fault. Drew a blank. Now he was getting into it with Nelly a little bit. We seen him get into it with Ludacris a couple months ago. We had him on the show, talk to him. He's a good brother. We tried to get him on the show again when um. Everything was going on a couple times, but he was busy. It's all good. He had a lot to say about Nelly. He also said that Nelly was the reason why you had to stroke. Kind of elaborate all that and and put perspective on it. Was Ali at the time when he did the show with uh, BATL, was he being kind of over-exaggerated or was some truth to that? Ali is, uh, you. he's, we deal with building, right? So if this is this, then this is this. So if he feels like, so if I'm if I'm stressed about something and if it's Nelly that I'm stressed about or something that he could have did or don't do or whatever it is, then that's what causes the stroke. It's not a conversation. Then I just pass out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you. Yeah. He just know I've been going hard, you know, since I'm like they taught me how they taught me that if it's not going how you need to go. Go do it. You know what I'm saying? And it shouldn't be no hard feelings. I'm not. You know, go do it. So when I go do it, I go hard on what I'm doing, which leads me up night, leads me, you know, I've been I haven't eaten meat since Country Grandma came out. And that's really what the was the analogy. Like he had a stroke and he's <laughs> and he's vegan. So I you know you know he had to be stressed if that's the case. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's what the whole thing was 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 really about, you know. Um and yeah, you know, it me having a stroke really made me figure things out. Me really made me go into books and really knowing that I could have been gone and you know how's my legacy looking on paper, not on your feelings and your heart and on the corner and in barbershops. How's it looking on paper for your kids? And I think that's what really got everybody figuring out things right now. You know what I'm saying? But it all can come to a play. It ain't nothing but a conversation. And I, I really think them two having that conversation. Even though it wasn't like people wanted to be, it's a con it's it's seeing how people feel. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like for me, I'm like, that ain't no that, that ain't no that. That's how you feel. You know that, that ain't no that. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it was big for me. Now I can work it. Now I can talk to him on the phone and say, hey, this isn't it. I ain't know that. Or no, nah, that's not how it was. Or you thought that? No, nah, hell no, nah, it wasn't like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if we talk right then with us, we are so we so much brothers that we never want to hurt each other. So if it's some minor, we're not finna just say it. We just finna get over it. Or, so it builds up. Right. If you building up, keep building up to like, and now you think it's something, but you not really. If I tell you that my brother still that he steals a lot, and you send him to the store, and your change is two dollars and eight cent, if he don't give you your money back, you you like he stole it. Although he just got it because he be stealing millions, he don't steal two dollars. But right. you think like, oh no, he say the thief, he stole my two dollars. And that's really what it is, is perception, not talking about it. And now you already got that key, and now it looks like it every time. Oh, look at him now. Look at him now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look at right. him now. You know what I'm saying? So I think it was a bunch of that. And now it's just build up to where it is. And sometimes it go too far and sometimes it's needed, you know, and they'll figure that out next week, two weeks from now. I don't know. Right. But you know, I think it was a lot of people might see it as the ending of something. I see it as the beginning of something. Right. So do you um how, how what's your feelings towards Nelly? Now as, you know, good. As far as what? I mean friends, you guys still I mean you grew up together, you're still friends, business, everything's still good with you guys. I mean, we talked a couple of weeks ago and it was cool. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no and not it's not like a pull up on you, let's fight. So <laughs> right. I, you know what I'm saying? Like business is business. Uh hopefully we all can get business going together. That's really what it's about. But until then, I'm gonna keep building on learning, learning more about business. So when we do build, I have more secrets and more things that we can do as a team. You know what I'm saying? I'm just I'm just sharpening my skills up to help the team when the team get back together. Until then, I have to go out there and go to batting practice and go out there in the field and go look at other teams and things of that nature. That's all I that's how I see it. You know what I'm saying? Now, I think, yeah, I think business wise, you know, when things open up, you know, it might be some things shaking. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not far from that or nothing like that. It's just a conversation for real, for me. 
anyway. Now you did reunion, right? And um, you did reunion, correct? Yeah, had recently. I don't, I don't I don't want to call it a reunion though. Okay, okay. Because, I mean, me I deal with words, so reunion means somebody already knew something was wrong. So did you not want to do it when y'all performed or whatever? No, I want to do it. Okay, because I was. Okay. I'm gonna, it, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. That don't. That ain't. You know what I'm saying? That's life. That's that's my that's my energy. I'm not gonna let nobody else just start my energy of how I feel. How I don't want to go up there and see my people. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Indeed. Let people see this shirt I got on or these shoes I got on or hey, I don't know. I'll be wanting to see that. I'm gonna want to get that feeling, that energy. I ain't really with that. But you know, it's just not on everybody's leisure. You know, you can't. Everybody can't do it when they feel like it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's do it. We're gonna do it. Let's sit down, talk, build, grab your grab your phone, get your notes out, boom, delegate some some um situations, come back to the table, see if it's done. You got him, you got him, you talk to him, you talk to him, and then build from there. Indeed. You know, one of the toughest things about success in business and particularly doing it with people you love, your brothers, family, is sometimes you get to a certain point where the business doesn't add up and you gotta kind of go in two separate ways. We had to deal with this. A little over a year ago with a real good brother or a real close brother to ours and no matter what you say no matter how much you try to keep it between business and personal it always seems to get the business slips into the personal a little bit it's something feelings get in the way so do you think that um or how, how do you feel about the business and in, in brotherhood do you think that looking back on it if you could do it differently you wouldn't just to keep the brotherhood still the same or do you think you wouldn't you know you understand what i'm trying to ask yeah uh brotherhood uh brotherhood isn't is important to my family but my family is important so whatever you need to, do to take care of that is usually financials and i you know we we left a lot of our family here so why are we gone so you missing that part you can't miss that part and miss the money right you gotcha. know what i'm saying <laughs> it yeah. don't work the same. it's easy to say hey i'm going out of town for 10 weeks here go fifty thousand. <laughs> you know what i'm saying right. yeah. Uh, 10 weeks uh, <laughs> yeah. at home. uh baby need changing like you know what i'm saying so yep. you know you ain't leave no money to, to, to even hire no nanny so it's like it's one of those things man i i'd rather play space with a person at some point but i also understand it too overstand it to where i also can do business without playing space where i came in playing space so i don't mind doing that but I also know you have to build into it, like a relationship with a woman or whatever. Like, okay, something happened wrong. You got to build into it. Yeah. You know, you can't just say, okay, we the happiest family ever the next day. That ain't going to work. That's a lie. We don't do lies. We shouldn't do lies. Right. Or or have the truth. Definitely. So so what's your uh, music now? You still working on music, right? Oh, so what's going on? Man, I'm on the Murphy Lee train. Uh real heavy because I, I i really believe he's the truth and i know that uh he hasn't had his 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 fair due diligence out here in the world in the industry and i also know that he's a a person that always looks back and, and helps the next uh person behind him as well so with me i'm playing big brother i'm not playing big brother i am big brother but uh um, yeah. We just moving and grooving, man. We setting up. We ready to relaunch this this project called Second Time Around, and it's really like his his single really answers a lot of this, a lot of the questions that's going on, too. So okay, really look out for that. It's Murphy Lee featuring the Hamiltons. What is that? Uh, it's a song called Second Time Around. It's not out yet, but he about to release it uh, probably in April. 